guys. Welcome to Advice Fridays. I know we haven't done it in a while, but if you want to send your advice in, send to Casey at Lumberland.com. All right, we'll start off hot here with Ty the Plumber. Ty the Plumber, what's going on, buddy? We know Ty from sending checks mix a few, maybe a month ago at this point, but mm -hmm. he goes, all right, hey boys, it's Ty again from Iowa. I was going to send some more snacks from Iowa, but I don't know what y'all need. Could you let me know on the Advice Friday? Also, I've been seeing great improvements and his numbers from hitting, lifting, and throwing. I'm gonna keep busting my ass to get better every day. Trust the process. Also, what's Big Nick's bench, and is Gordon Hayward on the shit list? Have a good one, boys. See you next week. All right, let's start with the snacks that we need. We, we need some Iowa, we, we need so some we Iowa, Iowa snacks. Yeah, we need some Iowa. Iowa snacks. Yeah, we're trying to hit all 50 states, Ty, so if you could send some Iowa snacks, that'd be great. All right. Native um, to Iowa. Need it. Um, so, yeah, he's made a lot of improvements on his hitting. He that's gave good. him some advice on for baseball, so that's good for him. Um, what's your What's your bench? And it's Gordon Hayward on the shit list. So, Big Nick's max bench. Big Nick doesn't really do a whole lot of benching, so I really can't give you an accurate answer. One thing I can tell you is I've done 225 29 times, but I've never, like, done it for, like, one or two reps. So... That's what I can tell you. All I'm right. more of an endurance guy. I like doing a lot of high reps. All right. And then as far as Gordon Hayward goes, personally, to me, he's not on the shit list. I'm just glad he's not in Boston. All right. All right. So we got Zach Belmer. Zach. Zach, what's going on, buddy? Hey, guys. I've been watching for a while now. I'm a huge fan. My name is Zach, and back in December of 2018, I underwent a surgery called TNTS, which is a brain surgery they do through your nose to take out whatever they need to take out. In a case, and in my case, it was a tumor. The tumor I had was benign, but it was big enough to wear, destroy, to wear, destroy my pituitary gland, which is like the general that commands all your hormones, and it also destroyed my hypothalamus gland, which helps you lose weight. The tumor was also pressing up against my optical nerves, which ended up taking total vision out of my left eye and only partial vision out of my right. I have to be on pills for the rest of my life now, and I'll always have whatever I have left of my brain tumor. Now it's been almost two years, and I'm at the heaviest I've ever been. I'm at the most depressive I've ever been, and want to know if you guys have any ideas about how to be more motivated and wanting to do more things at the condition I'm at. Well, Zach, I'm sorry for what you've had to go through, and I appreciate you reaching out to us and watching our show on a regular basis. That means a lot. Definitely not an easy situation for you going through what you've had to go through with your health. Um, but I'd say you're obviously aware of where you're at right now, mentally and physically. Um, so I, I think you really got to ask yourself if you want to continue in that spiral of, you know, you said you've you're the uh, heaviest you've ever been and you feel depressed. Um, so if you let things continue going the way they are, that's only gonna get worse. So I think you need to try and make a change as soon as possible. Um, I'm not sure what you can do physically or not, but I think you, even if it's sim as simple as taking a long walk outside every day, I think that can help you not only physically get your heart pumping, but mentally, um, I think that helps rather than just, you know, sitting inside and doing nothing. Um, and then, I mean, if you start feeling better, I, I'd advise working out. I think that that's a big help, um, obviously, physically, and for me, mentally as well. Um, so I do that and try and stay positive. Obviously, not an ideal situation, but I think you can make it better than where you're at right now. You got anything you want to say before I go, Casey? Yeah, I think I would just say that it all just comes down to, I know it's tough like to overcome like mentally, but if you just really think about it, you're just kind of like in a battle against yourself at the end of the day. So if you just like, all the negative thoughts, you just put to the side and just kind of just battle through it. And just know that like these small things like Will mentioned, working out or simply just like going for a walk, like to get started or like maybe like a slight jog, like little things like that will build up over time and you can, we'll get into like a better team, but it's all about consistency and like doing the little things that know in the long term will like be positive for you. 
Zach, first, I'd like to say that what Will said was spot on, what Casey said was spot on. So I guess just my intake on it would be is I might say some of the same things that they said, but I'll just say it in the way that I would say it. Um, first of all, I'm very sorry for what you've had to go through. And um, I wish you nothing but the best, and my thoughts and prayers will always be with you throughout your entire life to overcome what you've overcome. Um, I mean, I couldn't even imagine what you've had to go through. You know, it uh, puts things into perspective for me personally, like saying, you know, sometimes I always think I have a bad day or something, and when I hear a story like that, it's really not that bad at all. So all I want to say to you is, you know, despite what you've went through, you should be very proud of yourself for what you have gone through in your life and know that you've went through a ton of adversity in your life and that... You're still here, you're still alive. Yes, things are hard for you, no question about that. But every day, just keep pushing, because that's what life is all about, just keep pushing. I can't speak for what you're physically going through because I'm not going through that. I can't speak through your emotions or your mentality right now because I'm not living in your shoes. But the only thing that I can sit here and tell you is that you are very strong even if you don't think you are because of what you've went through. And it has tested you mentally, physically, and emotionally. And all I can say to you, Zach, is that keep going. Don't ever stop and do as much as you possibly can throughout the course of the day. And if people tell you you can't do something, prove them fucking wrong. Prove them wrong. It's like Will said earlier, I don't know what you can and can't do physically, but try to do the best that you can do what you have. Because you can sit there and at the end of the day when you lay down at night and you can sit there and say, did I do everything I possibly could today? That's all you can do. And it's like Will said, if it's just walking, it's walking. If you can do some kind of weight training, if you're able to do that, then do some weight training. But, or, you know, meditation's great too. You know, maybe yoga, you know. But the thing is, like, do what you can do and that's all you can control. And at the end of the day, you are satisfied. It doesn't matter what anybody else says. As long as you're satisfied with what you could accomplish every day, that's all you can do. So I wish you nothing but the best. We are going to personally reach out to you to see how you're doing every couple of weeks. And I'm going to make sure I tell Casey to do that. And I want you to keep checking in on us, just see how you're doing. And I want to know what's going on with you because you've went through a lot. And, yeah. We're, with, wish you, we're I, with you. I, I wish you nothing but the best. And I can speak for everybody here. God bless you. And keep going. Because God loves you, too. If you believe in it or not, he loves you, too. And we appreciate you watching. All right. Cool. Well, that's all we got for Advice Fridays. Make sure to submit your advice at Casey at Lumberland.com. And we'll see you guys next Friday. Have Boom. a great weekend, everybody.